<laughs> Hello Cole, nice to see you in so early. Um yeah. Um I'm just going to be walking around today doing some competitions, so whatever you guys want to do you do. Um I do not need that shotgun though. So we'll get that out. Um I do need the two four three for the mule deer comp that I'm in. So we'll take that, um, keep the snake bite, one second, let me just do something here quickly. Do need the snake bite. Actually, let me take the heavy out and swap that out with the crossbow. Um, actually, ah, not heavy, modern. I think I can take both. Yes, I can. So let's see if I've got ammo for the crossbow. Actually, I do not. So let me quickly grab that. Um, where is the store? And I will just grab, I think 20 should be enough. I mean, you can never overstock, so actually I'll take 30. And actually, I do need the shotgun too, so we're going to have to take the modern recurve out. He will not be able to use that. Um, what else, what else, what else? What is the password? Same as always, call one, two, three, four. Um, okay, so actually, I need to go out of here. Hello, Liam. Nice to see you, Jagen. Uh, okay, so let us get the crossbow ammo in here. I don't think I'm ready to take all 30 just to save on space for the shotgun because I need. Oh, wait. Rudy's in. Nice. Nice to see Rodney around. Um, I believe I need slugs, so let's take one of those out and put one of those in. Nice, that's not a bad loadout, and I should probably um, put get the correct corners because I'm set up for Pikmin Bay. Um, just finished there. Uh, okay, I need that. And the E corner. Actually, let's get rid of you and hmm, let's get rid of you and then get the E corner in there. Nice, that's 99. And coal is in as well. Nice, I do not know why I have water here. I obviously do not need that on Timber Gold Trails. So, can I take more ammo then? Nice cheap bags are seen. This lobby is full, I believe. Yes, it is full. Nice. Um, two for three for the mule deer. That is true, really. It will most likely have to be the biggest chicken ever. Okay, so now let me see where everyone starts. I'm just gonna um, ignore that e caller randomly there. I was killed by a puma, then too lazy to go and pick that up again. So, yeah, that's a thing. So, I just bought another e caller. <laughs> um, yes, thank you, Jibag. Thank you for that. I still need to set up commands and streamlabs and stuff, but I haven't had time to do that been a bit busy lately again so that's why I have been doing the streams lately they are quicker to do 
my gain is set too high. Okay, let me fix that quickly. Thank you for that, Rudy. Because I was playing around with my gain settings. And, um, yeah, I wasn't too sure about that. Um, hopefully that's better now. Don't know. Okay, thank you, Rudy. Yeah, I was having problems like that with my recordings as well, so I've set the gain down a bit now. Hopefully that's better. Um, yeah, my mic has gone weird again. It was better for a long time. And now it's um, all wonky again, but hopefully that has fixed it. Now I'm trying to figure out if I want to fast travel to this rocky tree stand and then take it from there. Not too sure. Actually, let me just do this route here quickly. Stay away from the stands. Take a quick little jog. Um, there's not really much in this area too often. It's not too interesting. Yes, thank you, Rudy. I will do that. Um, at least it's better. I had it on different settings, but uh, as I said, I changed it around, especially because when I do get time to record, it's like 12 a.m. at night, so I can't really speak too loudly. Um, so yeah, then I need like gain a bit higher. Yes, that is the annoying part really. That's the um, struggles of recording and streaming. There's never one size fits all and that's a wolf. And I do believe it was my highest scoring on my first two harvests so let's see. I do have the e-caller for them now and I the e-caller works a lot better than the elk calf caller I would say in my opinion at least they don't come running straight at you um so yeah hopefully we can get a big wolf down I haven't had a big one in a while yeah I as I was saying earlier I've had that um, well not perfect but close to perfect um, my mic settings have never been the best but I had it close to where I wanted it and then all of a sudden now it's just gone mad and being distorting my voice lately so yeah then you have to reset everything the most annoying thing is when um, you have all your OBS settings perfect well yeah all your OBS, OBS recording and streaming settings perfect and then all of a sudden which slot do I have? Okay, that's the slot I have that in. And then all of a sudden all your settings go weird again. Then you have to fix that. Nice. Now let's see if we can get these wolves to come in. And by the way, I do like the um, updates that Expansive World had or did. It's not a big update. There's a few bug fixes and the... Um, the the outline around the e caller that they did. It's little things like that that I like because I mean it was impossible to find your e caller before this. You would lose it pretty easily. Well, not you'd have to run around quite a bit to find the exact spot to be able to pick it up again. So I'm glad they did that. Um. So yeah. Um. And. The, on the Thursday stream, they did say that there's a lot of new, or we can expect good things. I can't remember the exact wording that they had, but the point is there's new content expected for Classic, or quite a bit of new content expected for Classic this year. Um, um, so yeah, that is hopeful for Classic. They did confirm that there won't be any new maps, which is unfortunate, but new content is always loved, and hopefully we get a new animal at least. Um, yes, 
That is true, Rudy. I always said, ever since I got the equal, I always asked why wasn't there an outline around it, because it just made sense that there should be one. I hear something. It just made sense that there should be an outline around it. Um, especially when using on typical trails in the tall grass and in the mountainous areas, you'd lose it so easily. So, yeah. That is the thing. But, luckily we finally have it. We've got designers that actually think now. Um, only problem with the wolves is if they are chasing something, they won't come into the e -caller. So, we have to hope that they aren't chasing any elk at the moment. Um, Felody on White Rhyme Ridge? <laughs> Hopefully Felody, but not on um, White Rhyme, Rudy. But yeah, Toast, that's just Rudy being Rudy. Um, I do believe they'd probably add another feline or cane, probably a canine. <clears throat> Um, Hirschfelden is pretty full with the pheasants and geese and stuff, and I know modeling antlers and stuff does take a lot of, um, modeling, if you want to put it that way. <clears throat> so, I do think if they were to add something, it would be to Bushrangers run, because Bushrangers is so empty, and it would most likely be a dingo. Um, that's what I expect. A dingo or... Um, what's... There was a deer species that I had in mind, but... That just left my mind now. But anyways, um... Yeah. Dingoes wouldn't be bad. But that's what I... I would prefer a fellow deer on Hirschfelden. But I expect to see... Dingoes on Bush Rangers run next. That is true, but aren't coyotes the same thing, if you look at it that way? <laughs> but, um... Hello dear, could live on bush rangers, run? I doubt that, but, yeah, I'm guessing that was not serious. But, um... Yes, exactly, really. That is... Indeed true, but that is what I expect to see them add. It would basically... Oh, okay, I see, I see. Um, coyotes hunted for pelts. I honestly didn't know that. I thought coyotes were just shot as pests. Um, like dingoes and jackal, like, yeah, in South Africa. Jackal are just shot because, of, because they are pests. Um, dingoes are obviously a pest. Um, so yeah, I hope they add fellow at least. Yes, true. I would rather have a spotted antlered fellow deer than have a mangy Great Dane in the desert. But it doesn't seem like those wolves are going to be coming in anytime soon, so we'll just leave them. Don't have too much time to be wasted on them. I'm guessing they were chasing L, which would explain why they didn't come in. But just to be ready, I am going to load up the crossbow. Dingoes do for some other reason. From what I've seen, dingoes look in general look mangy. I've never seen a fat dingo. Now that you mention it, Rudy Mangy. Um, <laughs> I'm ready for the falls. I, uh, Binky and I were talking about this yesterday, actually. Um, alligators on Rugaru, they've been requested a lot. Um, so I think that would be something people would want, but no. Uh, Red for the falls? Do they? Red for, I guess, Red for the falls would be a map they'd live on. I don't know. I don't know my American general knowledge too well. Um, but yeah, actually let's go check this track on that wolf. Um, but yeah, 
Um, what was I thinking of now? I have a thought pattern, I have a thought pattern, I have a thought pattern. Um, oh, alligators. Yeah. I do not, yeah, chasing, so that makes sense. 60 to 85? Hmm. Interesting. That's also interesting. But yeah, do, do they live in areas like Ruguru? Ah, I mean red feather. Or are you just having a Rudy moment again? Yeah, they they can definitely handle the heat since we have Vietnam yeah in South Africa. Um they handle the heat pretty well. They just don't like being out in the sun in the middle of the day. Y yeah. Any time past nine o'clock in the morning, you're not finding any fellow deer unless they're sleeping under a thorn tree. Or, yeah, um, under a bush. So, yeah, that's a thing. They do not like the heat. Or, they don't, they prefer the, the cold or the cooler times of day. These wolves don't seem to be anything giant, so don't think I'm going to be tracking them down. I'm just picking the tracks as I go, picking the tracks up as I go. I do want to go check out that bear, though, but <clears throat> I don't know. Don't know if it'll be worth it. Giraffes <laughs> too. Yeah, that that would be something that they should do. Um. Whiteone is definitely their natural habitat. So they should do that. It would be nice to see. Elephants. Hmm. Which map would elephants fit on? Tumblegold? I think so. It would be nice to see an elephant chasing a wolf. A zebra. They should just add an African map. I would, I, that's what I want to see. An African map. But you know, EW devs, they don't like Africa. Well then again, they added Africa to all wild, so... Who knows? Hello, Polo. Nice to see you here. I believe this is the first time I've seen you in the streams. Emu. Mm. I wouldn't be opposed to that either. But, um, yeah. It's not something I'd hunt every day. And Gemsbach? Yeah, Gemsbach. Still yet to shoot one in real life. I really want to shoot one one day. Um, they really look cool. I like the look of them. PTSD. True, they lost the war against emus. How do you lose a war against flightless birds? That's an interesting one. I'll have to ask Nathan that. Nathan would know. Hmm, these wolves have been chasing for the longest of times. But it doesn't seem... Never mind. <laughs> I, was about to see, does, I was about to say it doesn't seem like there's any bulls in this herd anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but... There's a bull. Um, doesn't seem like any sizable bull because he doesn't go up to max weight, but then again, Weight doesn't say much for Rockies. Flee. Obviously. I'm not going to track that, but I'll head in that direction, at least. No, 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 no. 
Even if they added African map and they added Lesser Kudu, I would never hunt that African map. I... No. Lesser Kudu are... Literally... They called Lesser Kudu for a reason. Greater Kudu are way, way better. <laughs> no. I do not... That's one thing I do not agree with you. I really... Lesser Kudu just don't look good. Um, just do yourself a favor and look at the compare or Google the comparison between Greater Kudu and Lesser Kudu, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Toast. Just Lesser Kudu don't look good. Greater Kudu, on the other hand, look way better, and Lesser Kudu are way smaller than. Um, uh, you know, lesser could have weighed smaller than great could greater could I think they're about a hundred kilograms smaller, and they only get up to a half of the size of a greater could in horn length. <laughs> I don't know, Rudy. That is a good question indeed. Nice. At least you got bulls coming in toast. I've barely had anything. Well, I've had wolves chasing my bulls away. <coughs> and there those not buckets are. That's a lone male, I believe. Hmm, <coughs> interesting. Oh! Yeah. Do you understand what I mean now, Toast? Yeah, there we go. Greater Kudu are way better. <laughs> Sorry, Rudy. I just thought at six because um the flats are better at six. You know, eight a.m. Timbergold doesn't do too well in the flats, but. Um, yeah, six o'clock is actually good up there, but it, visibility doesn't help much. Visibility is useless up there. <coughs> I hear a wolf. Not nice. Well, at least you've got a bull toast. But yeah, as I said, I'd love to see an African map sometime with well what was my suggestion my suggestion was I just heard something my suggestion would be like basically a timber gold map with a mountainous area and a flat area with um nice um mountainous area they could have um what was my suggestion? Barbary sheep. Um, Greater Kudu. But then again, Barbary sheep don't live in the same area as Greater Kudu, so we'd leave Barbary sheep out of the equation then if they would want to have it an area based map. So then they could have Greater Kudu, Mountain Rebuck. Um, that's no one. Greater Kudu, Mountain Rebuck. Um, and indeed, Rip to the large, really. Um, where was my thought pattern going with this? Yeah, and leopard in the mountains. And then in the flats they could have springbuck, um, impala, chemspuck and eland. They could just take chemspuck, yeah, you know, impala, springbuck and eland. And bushbuck, yeah, bushbuck, that, that was one of my suggestions as well with those guys in the flats. Um, waterbuck don't tend to live in the same area, so I'd stick to springbuck, bushbuck, um, impala, eland, um, maybe cape buffalo, but that would be pushing it for too many species in the flats, and then you could just chuck a, what, uh, or they could chuck wild dogs into the flats then, because then they've got a canine and a feline on the map, they don't tend to have two felines or two canines on a map. 
Oh, definitely, just for some variety, really. Sable. Yeah, but... Yeah. You see, I do like Sable. But the animals I mentioned would be my favorite out of those. Um, but... Um, I would also add Sable, but you see the animals I mentioned would probably already fill up the map, so wouldn't really be um, the best. I'm not really going to waste my time on this elk. Let me just do this quickly. That is what I liked here. Let's go him. Same thing as water buffalo. Yeah, basically, but hopefully they don't mess up the horn models. Well, um, as far as I know, water buffalo and classic are way out of proportion. So as long as they get them right, it would be nice. As long as they're not like Call of the Wild Cape Buffalo, I'll be happy. Ah, I messed that up. Cape Buffalo better. Yeah, true. Cape Buffalo are indeed nice. I was one night um, right driving in the Bucky, um, spotlighting for Jackal, and forgot that I was in the Cape Buffalo. I was actually with a buddy, and we forgot that we were in a or in the Buffalo camp. So um, that we got chased by well obviously we were on the bucky but we still got chased by the buffalo which was fun um i don't know why they chased the bucky but yeah call wild yeah i do not like call the wild so i will agree with that if they got it right i wouldn't have anything like the spring buff models or so they messed that up and the behaviorisms are also not good at all. Let's turn that off. I see another wolf over there. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Saw it at the last second. Me? <laughs> if only I owned Call of Wild, really. Never owned it. Probably never will. I hear an arrow. That looks like an interesting bull. Hmm. Ooh, that's murder that wolf. That looked like a decent estimate. That's a new bull as well. Nice. He looked very wide, so Toast, you must just keep an eye out, or an ear out, because I will be telling you shortly if you must come to shoot that elf, if he's got three back tines. I don't know, he's got no back tines, so never mind. Um, yeah. Toast is still looking for a 400 plus Rocky Mountain elk, and I will gladly give that to you if I find it. Oh, that's a lot smaller than I thought. Let's see that wolf. Okay. So it should be a guaranteed um, 16 plus at least. That's a decent estimate for no bad times. Nice toast. Hopefully it beats your PB. We did, I did say we must fix your PB, so hopefully we get that right. Hmm. I wonder if I could weave a shot through there. I highly doubt it. He looks like a, he's got a chunky hair on him. Let's just do this quickly. Usually when they're chasing, they don't... Now he's chasing again. Nice. We love it when they chase our elk away. 
But hopefully I'm not too long in this tree stand. I just want to shoot what's here and then carry on. I do plan on walking up along here. Get out of Toast's way and up the river like that. Um, just see that cow now. I should be able to make that shot. Nice. That should be a hard shot. <laughs> That's always nice, G bag. But surely they shouldn't do that when they're not branded in. Interesting. Uh, no, that's not good, Cole. Oh, wait, I I didn't even, didn't even notice that you'd claimed that, Cole. That is a decent melee. Not bad at all. That's not a big rocky at all. Just a little bit. Yeah, this rocky tree stand definitely works extremely well. I'll always come back to the stand. It's my go-to rocky stand. Hmm. Still see out being chased in the distance here. Don't think we're going to get that wolf now because he seems to still be chasing after elk. Okay, she's behind the tree. I hear a wolf. Dropped him. Wow, that was close. That is another decent wolf. Why does the one look... Okay, that's a female. I thought the one looked a bit darker than the other one. Hmm. Stay like that, please. I do want a rare wolf too. That's something that would be cool to get. They look very good, but the leucistics and albinos look the best out of the three. Okay, nice. Hopefully this should work. Uh, I, I dropped a wolf. That is... Oh, I realized I should drop that one as well. Wolves are not the easiest to drop for me. I usually struggle to drop them. I just realized something. It says the biggest wolf out of your first th two harvests. Eh, doesn't matter. Don't even, even know if it's single player or melee player. Hmm. Okay, let's get on. Oh, wait, I heard a wolf. Could be that other guy. Should be him, actually. Don't want to spend too much time in this tree stand. Yeah, wolf. If he doesn't come in quickly, I'll just leave him. Okay, that's not a problem, Cole. Hopefully you can get back in. I hear this wolf, so he should be coming in at least. Mm, yeah, see movement, but that looks like a whole pack actually. Actually, man, English is easy. Um rediscovered so I'm guessing don't know which elk that would be oh wait could be the elk I was tracking earlier um or one of them at least didn't pay attention to whether or not it was um more than one red dot that's not what I want to see where are these wolves at least getting closer Ah, there we go. 
That looks like the bigger one. Actually. That is a very nice wolf. That might be my PB. Um, you know what? Let's just use the crossbow for this, just for the heck of it. That is a big wolf. Where are you? Um, come on. I'm going to guess he's at about 20 there. Dropped him. Nice. Don't see any rares running off. So that should be a guaranteed big wolf. Let's go claim that. Where is my E corner? Oh, right there. Um, let us see what this guy scores. Uh, lower end, so. That's my new PB wolf. We like to see that indeed. <laughs> really? Ah, uh, yes. Indeed, small. Now, we have to try and get a good trophy shot with this guy. Which is not the easiest with wolves. Wait. Okay, that does not look good at all. <laughs> well, that might look decent. Oh, man. Now you guys have to sit and watch the pain I go through to get good trophy shots. What was the max score for Wolves before the update, actually? I want to know, because... Yeah, I know... Shot a 16.9 something yesterday, or the day before, it was yesterday I believe, yeah it was yesterday, that doesn't look too bad actually, just need to fix his head, his head looks a bit weird, other than that his body looks fine, hmm. that looks actually pretty decent right there. Um, wrong way, but nice. Uh, let's check the poses, actually. That doesn't look too bad at all. No. Let us... <laughs> Rudy. You s um, definitely chucking lead at those big ones. That's not centered. That's gonna irritate me. And I want the whole crossbow to be showing. Nice. That looks good right there. And it's going to tax him because my previous best was 16.77 something, I, get, I believe. And that is indeed one of the alcohols tracking earlier. Nice. So that's a nice wolf. And then. We shall claim this other one first. I think it's my first two wolf harvests actually now that I think about it. So, yeah. And he's going to be 16.1 at best, I think. Yeah, 16.18. It gives me second place, so it's not the worst ever. I might actually stay second. I don't know. Why are you sad, Toast? That's a small wolf, definitely. 15.8, there we go. So I'm actually glad I fast traveled, yeah? Because that gave me a PB. Um, what you would call it? Wolf. And I'm actually glad I heard them coming in, otherwise I would have left the tree stand. That's a small elk. Okay, let's see where everyone is. Cold there. Where I got my meninistic um, yield here yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? 
apart from here. That looked like a tiny bull, actually. If that was a bull. That is a giant sheep, Rudy. It was definitely worth all the shots you took at him. Level 18 for Grey Wolf. Nice. Getting close to level 20. Uh, that's not good. Why is that? They were supposed to fix that glitch. Let me just check how quickly I them. Okay, Toast, that would maybe explain it. No, I don't think so. 1800 ping? Ah, uh, 800 ping? That shouldn't be a problem, right? 800 ping isn't that bad. <laughs> Iron Adams. <laughs> yeah, those Pumas seem to be um, ricocheting your bullets back at you. G bag. hope for a piebald rocky. My luck has been very good actually now that I think about it the last three or four days. I've had a few decent meal deer, um, a 400 plus rock. No, was it a 400 plus rocky? I don't remember. That's a nice wolf um, unknown toast. Hopefully it's a 16.5 plus. Um, wait. Wrong button. <laughs> but yeah. I still want to get that piebald rocky. I also got a decent sample for the first time in a while. And what else? Oh my new PB big one, which is not that impressive, but 187 is definitely a nice one. Still wanting that 190s. <laughs> oh, Rudy goes tumbling down the mountain as his distance to me just decreases drastically. <laughs> nice. You need a hand there, Rudy? Okay, never mind. Where did you go? Interesting, don't even see you. Okay, not a problem really. Nice seeing you. You must have a good afternoon, I believe. My maps are definitely the best. Only has giant big one. Interesting toast because um Okay, I see. That make that makes a lot of sense, Reed. Gravity just didn't want to take that from you. But your yeah, um toast. I sometimes have a thousand ping with some people's servers and I somehow am able to pick up animals. But it doesn't last long. But yesterday I was hunting with Binky I was hunting ducks with Binky. And um that somehow worked and I was on 800 ping and I was claiming everything and shooting everything so yeah not sure what's happening in your case it's probably just internet connection or ping as you say Get her out of our way. 
because she's going to be calling the whole time. Stealing the calls from the big animals and I've got the wrong weapon. Nice. When you kill a puma. Uh, it's an interesting one and my game is not wanting to reach it. There we go. Um they do run pretty fast and disappear pretty quickly, Jiva, but I don't believe they disappear there. So I'm not too sure what's going on there. Long blood, nice. Oh, I just want to see where this Rocky went. Just get her out of the way. Uh, oh, wrong button. Come on. Oh, she goes. That was my last arrow too, so better put some more in. Interesting, that score took way too long to calculate, but you'd eventually calculate it. <laughs> now, I need to figure out. Um, I never hunt this area, so it's a brand new area to me. So, we will see if it works out well or not. Hopefully it works out well. Don McMain isn't here. Ooh, close toast, but at least you can claim animals now. And um, that's a new wolf. What is up with the wolves on this hunt? You should have told me, um, you should have reminded me, Toast. I should have given you that wolf. Sorry about that. Just walk actually. Yeah, this seems to be a very good wolf spawn, which is fortunate but unfortunate at the same time because that is going to hinder some spawns for other animals, and also it's going to mean that we're going to have a lot of wolves chasing elk. But also, it's going to be good because gives us the opportunity to maybe find that rare we've been looking for. Yeah, I understand your frustration, Toast. Okay, as a female, unfortunate for you, Jibag. Well, at least it's Hunter score and uh, it's okay ish GMs, right? 
So it's not a total waste of time. Wrong caller. Cole is at the, I believe, the, yeah, the one of my golden mule deer tree stand spots. Well, not a tree stand anymore, but it used to be a tree stand. It is now a um, tower. The only thing I don't like about the towers is you can't let the animals get close to you, so if they come up bundled up, you're going to sp have to spook them, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it has its pros and cons like everything else. That is what you like to see for me again. For a second, I was so confused as to what that could be. Then I realized it said me all It's a big boy. But I mean, yeah, I feel like it shouldn't be too difficult for them to make an African map because they've got the terrain from typical trails and they've got some sort of body models. Um, like the leopards, they could just use the puma models to work off that. And wild dogs, what could they use for that? Wild dogs are significantly bigger than coyotes, so... Yeah, I don't think they have anything that they could use that for... Springbuck? Yeah, they have to make a new model for that bushbuck as well. Is that no. not? No. I will say I definitely would say it's not worth a G-Bag. Um, the only dog that's useful and worth it is the Pointer. Should actually be leveling mine up a bit more, but yeah. I get stuck on my piebald rock grind. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could track every animal you hit badly. The dog is just there for for fun, actually, and it takes years to up level up. Sorry. Yeah, sometimes it's useful, Cole, but yeah, I don't know. I still would say that the only useful one is the pointer. <laughs> back into rocky territory. I actually enjoy this spot over here for Rockies, so hopefully we can start getting them now soon. No, unfortunately I do not own that um, G-Bag, but maybe Cole owns it. Um, no one owns it, that's unfortunate. Hmm. No rockies, yeah, let me just run down here to the area I know where they start um, in. Hopefully we can get them down there. Yeah, uh, I forgot I, I had the thought pattern. Yes, Rusa models could be used for Rusa weights. Um, 50 to 160. Hmm. Nothing's really in that weight range. Um, I believe Sambo models could be used for Kudu. No, not really. For most of the animals, they would have to make new models. 
um, yeah, they would have to make new models for most animals. Bushbuck as well. May they, they could maybe use the Rodeo models for that, and then just modify it a bit. Um, yeah, they're about the same weight range as well, so... Doesn't really make a big difference. Um, Eland... The closest thing to Eland would be Water Buffalo. Or bang tank. Yeah, it would be Water Buffalo. Um, yeah, I see what you mean, Cole. But yeah, I th the closest thing that I know of is Water Buffalo to weight wise to Eland. Eland, about a ton on average. Um, so yeah. What else? That's about everything, right? Impala? Mm hmm. Impala, Impala. I believe they could use the whitetail models to a certain extent for that. Just modify it. About. It's a decent sheep, too, man. It's not a bad one at all. Um. But yeah. Impala, they could use the whitetail models. Sort of the same weight range. Um. Ah, uh, buffalo. Yeah, 5160. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think there is anything. Because, um, Springbuck are like between 10 kgs and 40. Some monsters go up to like 50, 60 kgs, so you could say up from 10 to 60 kgs. Um, move it over there. Let me see. To me, you still you standing still, and you haven't moved from the tower area. So, yeah. Sandbar, yes, two hundred five fifty. So that's a bit big for anything really. Kudu don't really go that high. That's what I was thinking, maybe at best they could use female models, because, actually, could it go up to 500, I believe, like the really big ones. The biggest I've shot was, I think, 380 kilograms. Can't remember, it's 280, 380, can't remember. No, I don't think they go that high. Yeah. Sample models wouldn't really work too well for Kudu. Um, yeah. Bushbuck. I said Rodia should be sufficient for those. Oh, uh, sure. I'm getting a bit close to you, Toast, so. I'll scooch over a bit to the left, yeah. Didn't notice you were coming up the river. Um, unless you want me to fire shell out of the area, you let me know. Um, Mountain Rebuck, Mountain Rebuck, Mountain Rebuck. What models could they they could maybe use the Rusa no Rusa are too heavy. Um they again they could also use maybe Rodium models but they look way different to that. So I don't think that would work out too well. So okay, let me fast travel out of your way. run out of ideas to talk about so I need something new to talk about that is the problem here because I wouldn't want like Rockies up to 330. No, Rockies would actually be a 
forgot about Rockies. Rockies would sort of be perfect. Mm. Because now that I think about it, when I Google the thing that um, Kudu could be compared to is was Moose. And don't Moose go up to 500 kgs or something like that? If I am not wrong, yeah. So maybe they could use Moose, but Moose looked nothing like Kudu. <coughs> that is the problem. <coughs> Well, hopefully you get a big one. Yeah. It would be nice to see you finally get a 400 plus. Roosevelt got to Roosevelt got to 500 kgs as well. Which, yeah, 500 kgs. So, yeah, I don't know. Wait, Moose got to 600. Yes, Moose got to 600. So I don't know. Yeah, that's a weird topic now. You've got me in a bad spot. You are 620. You're right. Uh, so, then that would be... That's interesting. They sort of the same weight range. Yes, bit size. Well same weight range then, but the um, um, the body models look nothing alike. Interesting. An Alkyans. Usually there'd be at least one herd of elk by now. Hmm. Seems you really had a bad spawn. <coughs> um, elk and no, elk wise actually. The good will spawn. That is for sure. of the devil. Should maybe call those in and see what they have to say. Maybe there's a rare. You never know. It'll be interesting to see if they chase an elk because I still haven't had that elk all, which is weird. I haven't seen a single mule deer, but then again, I haven't been in mule deer area yet. Mainly been in rocky area. It'll be interesting to see what these tracks belong to. They belong to rockies or wolves. I believe that is Rockies actually. Cow. Yikes. Different 
check. Yeah, fresh ish. I hear those wolves, so. Yeah, at least one wolf. So, let's go find a rock to sit up on. Okay, that's good to hear. Cool. I like the new competitions. Um, I do like that they change the trophies. I like the new trophies a lot as well. Um, that is a change that I've been wanting for a while. The trophies, they all look the same, which was not nice. And that was actually a max weight rocky track, so you'll have to track him down in a bit. See, it's getting close to Rocky Mountain Elk's sleep time, so well, bedding time, I believe it's called. <coughs> so we'll have to not take too long yet, and that is a decent wolf. Oh, there's a rocky right there. I believe that's what the wolf was after, and that's the one we had track of. Unfortunately, actually, I should turn that off. Um, I hear more wolves. Hmm. Interesting situation. Why is that rocky? I do believe I forgot one of those cow elk now that I think about it. That's a fur type I like actually. But it's not cooperating. It's a female as well. I do want a big one of that light brown fur type. Darn. Well, I like it that that didn't the wolves. What I want to say. Female. Surprise! These wolves haven't spooked yet. It's a small veil. Hmm. What's that one? Small female. Surrounded by wolves now. Which means that it is definitely a good wolf spawn. Unfortunately. Well, as I said, fortunately, unfortunately. Yeah, they this did not spook, they chasing now. Should maybe just try and take a shot at this guy before he spooks everything. Pretty sure he has noticed me. Nice, he's down. Um, anything else decent shot? No. Let's try the corner quickly again. But yeah, there will be uh, hopefully a new video within the next week or so. Just got to edit it and do the final touches on it, and then it should be good to go. Which is nice. I haven't posted a video in a while. Uh, What's this wolf doing? Looks like a female. Yeah, that's a female. What that wolf's doing there. As I said, I'm very happy that I got the wolf attachment for the e -caller. It has saved me a lot with the wolves. Uh, I believe that is what happened to that wolf. Wolf just 
try to revive itself, it seems. But usually when you get two packs of wolves close to each other, they, like, don't come in because the other pack scares them off, or, yeah, you know, the pack scare each other off. They intimidate each other, that's the word I was looking for. But that hurts, I heard what on earth. Um, Packet seems to be coming in. Ooh, for a second that looked a bit too dark. That's, wait, what? Is that female? She looks so much bigger than the rest. But then again, the others are tiny. That's tiny. Yeah, that's probably why she looks so big. She's next to that tiny one. The rares yet. Hmm. What look like female though? Wait, what's that there in the back? That's also a female, so let's turn off the E corner. See what damage we can make here. Yeah. Or do. <coughs> She's done. Um, do I get this one out of the way too? Ah, uh, come on. I am so surprised I'm dropping the wolves today. I think that was the final straw. They spooked, I believe, unless they were chasing, but I doubt it. No, uh, they spooked. So, at least got a decent haul, yeah? It's good for GMs, at least. There we go, tiny elk. It's going to be a tiny female, probably my personal best for my smallest wolf. Actually not. Still pretty small, though. But that wouldn't make sense as to why there's so few Rockies in this area, because overpopulated by wolves. It's a decent wolf, I should have shot that with a crossbow actually, thinking about it now. That's a you know, decent female actually. But in hindsight, I should have shot that with a crossbow. I've got a mission to shoot a female up to 50 kilograms, I believe, with the crossbow. That male smaller than her. Not surprised there. Yeah, slightly smaller. Now, let's see if we can't actually find some Rockies. Right. But now I've got nothing to ramp a lava out again. <laughs> Unfortunately. Probably fortunately for you guys. I believe that should be a carcass up there. Yeah, that's a carcass. Nice. But yeah, I've run out of things to ramble about. And I keep on getting distracted as usual. What's new? Hmm, I believe that is the decent one that I saw. Zero CSS, what was that? Oh wow, that is as small as they get, Toast. Indeed, as small as they get. That is something I'm going to go and shoot. Wait, Cold, did you... why did you circle that spot, is my question. I even forgot G-Bag was here, he hasn't been 
doing much. Um, just in case I load up the shotgun. Wrong gun. Nice. Yeah, my spawn seemed to be bad too, so it's not your fault. That looks like a decent one, actually. Not huge. Oh, 350 pyro. That's interesting. Yeah, I've actually never tried that. Oh, actually, I did. That was pretty prestige headies, but it's okay. It gets empty very quickly. And yeah, you normally only get one herd of elk, and it's more like a hit and miss kind of spot where you don't get much, where you get a few, where you get nothing. And it's pretty frustrating because you tend to get a few mule deer does there sometimes. And I want to smoke this bear. <sighs> Surprised it didn't drop it. A long shot though so he won't go for it all let's see he won't be being I'm just going to guess 340 on him ah oh, 340 24 maybe 23 actually Too bad, it's a decent start for that entry in the call. Don't think I'll actually even qualify, but we'll see. Let's go see if your spot produces a high build for me too, Carl. Yeah, that's, I did have a tree stand there at a stage, Prestige gave it to me. Um, yeah, I also find that if you, or it tends to be that if you put it tree stone in this area or even a, sorry it's just a tent in this area it seems to affect the spawns quite a bit in this area it lowers it seems to lower the spawns a lot all three rare fur types or oh, muni does oh, okay that that's not good but I mean it's good but not as good as if it was bucks, right? Um, yeah, it took me way too long to get a melodistic mule deer. Luckily it was a buck when I finally got it. Shot it yesterday, I believe. It was yesterday or the day before, I can't keep track. <laughs> oh no. Track. Ah. Terry's getting killed by grizzlies. But yeah. Finally got my first minimalistic mule deer ever after 3,700 mule deer harvests. Ah, there's a the track I was looking for. New track actually. Hmm, interesting. You can't fast travel? That's a new one. What is your ping, by the way? Let me just check that. Ping's actually better than what it was. Hello, Commander. Well, Cody. Nice to see you back in the stream. <laughs> Cody stand. Now, why would that be cold? I had a stand up. I was actually testing a few new rocky spots. Where was that? It was like there. Um, it was decent for pumas actually. I had two pumas in one hunt there, which is yeah, decent for puma. Um, yeah, it was okay-ish for mule deer, and 
I had one rocky come in there. It wasn't a bad spot, but I... For a second that sounded like a turkey hen, or hen turkey. That confused me so much. Yeah, some mule deer um, at that spot, but I have had better spots and I had a better idea for or better use for that tent and tree stand, so I just did that with it. Um, I use it much more than I get. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that was definitely very lucky. Yeah, I took me way too long to get a 300 plus. Um, not to really. And then you go ahead and get it in one day of testing my tree stand spot. There's a lot of cow elk in this area there. This spot that I'm at now is also pretty decent. I had a tree stand up here not too long ago. Um, I believe it was in that tree over there. Yeah, I think it was in that tree. Um, I had quite a few rockies in the one hunt, but the next hunt there was barely anything, so... It was decent but inconsistent, so I had to go down as well. So that's a thing. But I'm wanting to set up set with Creek a bit for now. Um, so this is definitely not a bad map at all. Um. there's no sign of any bulls yet out of all these cow elk I also wouldn't be overly surprised if one of these was a rare <coughs> one of those looked like a bigger model ah oh, it's a bull I don't really see it with the names but yeah it's a bull that was a different bull I believe Yeah, that was difficult to what I was looking at. There's some mule deer bucks out there. Don't see anything of interest there. No non tips or rares, and that's another decent big one G bag. You're having all the luck up there. Well, you know, you're just getting animals, and I'm starting to get animals now, so can't really complain at all. <coughs> Hopefully this is a 400 plus piebald that's called you. Yeah. I guess we'll have to wait and see right. I'll just call in those mule deer ones I've shot these out just for GMs. That's uh, a tiny bull and it's nothing special at all. That is indeed a W call. <laughs> Not for long now. Ah, wrong gun. I got that with so many weapons with me. It's not something I normally do. Okay, those two are too good. Ah, too close to each other. Okay, that might just open up a gap for me. Terrible shot, man. Let's call in the other bull. Yes. <coughs> and those mule there be. Nice, just to call them in and smoke one of the two, four, three, just for fun. Uh, 
So you definitely got all the mule deer there, cool. But I'm probably going to end the stream in about six minutes, if that's okay with you guys. Um, yeah, getting pretty tired. Okay, but you must get that first toast. Uh, wait, what did I just spot? Oh, okay, that's small meal deer. Didn't even check what it's going to be. Was I just saw spotting it? I was confused. <coughs> the cow, unfortunately. Why does she look a bit weird? <sighs> Common, but she looks weird. from all directions so okay sounds good call <laughs> mule deer standing on the rock there Let's see if we can drop this cow would make it better oh, nice. thank you let's see if we can smoke this mule deer well, yeah, hopefully that one is a 16 plus. I'm gonna shoot that uh, G bag. Ah, toast, sorry. Oh, I hear it. Oh, it's behind me. Ah, oh, there it is. Cow. <laughs> okay, I guess you're going to murder everything now, toast. Thank you, Cole, and it's a pleasure. It's always nice to host and have you guys in the stream and have you guys in the game. You must have a good night yourself. Uh, down he goes. Down she goes. This one. And she goes. Now let's see what else we have in the area. I'm just gonna smoke the next one. Don't see any other meal there. I know there was. Uh, that's probably him over there. So let's see if we can drop this guy with the bow. And maybe, hopefully, that. And yeah, I don't know. Don't think we're going to be able to shoot any of these bucks with a two or three. Because okay, that's another small. I thought I saw a 150s, 160s rack over here somewhere. Just see tiny ones there. Um, okay, that's the same bullet earlier, just as expected. Um. Make that shot run. I've made that shot hundreds of times. Shot over him. Interesting. Is he not as far as it says then? Definitely not. Maybe he was, I don't know. But that will be the last guy. Um, now I'm going to pick up this carnage. Just a female, so obviously going to score nothing. She's going to be most of these. Got a few million bucks at least to make up for them. Uh, yeah, this is what I was saying. This spot is good sometimes, but sometimes not. That's the problem inconsistent it was consistent I definitely leave my tree stand up here 
but then again also then I can't do that walking route that I just took because that somehow affects the spawns that's another thing I've noticed if you put down a tent somewhere it definitely affects the spawns in that area also depending on where you put down your tents and tree stand so yeah that is a thing I believe uh, that for instance yeah I never find rockies on my walking route anymore if I have a tent in this area like anywhere in this area it affects the rocky spawn for sure which is not good now if the score eventually decides to calculate we can press resume or we can just resume without the score calculating sorry I don't know what that was um, let's see what this how far this ball was it was actually 50 meters hmm, interesting something changed there um yeah I don't know no nothing changed obviously but I for some reason remember the hole being more but obviously not so I'm going crazy And he's way over there. Cow too. No, he should go and trip shot. No, definitely, there is definitely someone standing here taking a trip shot. Um, I don't think I can see those out there, so we'll have to wait a bit. And I'm not going to call for meal again because these does are going to be annoying if I do that. This is actually the spot I got my pie bowled at, but unfortunately it was a cow, which is not what I wanted to see. <coughs> when I finally saw my pie bowl coming, how far is that? It seems to be within render. And the cow answered, so they should be within render then. Core render, that is. So they should be just over that hill, just out of line of sight. So we'll see what comes in then. <coughs> I have the urge to go closer, but I feel like I'll mess things up by doing that. Oh, man. Um, for what would that be? Um, guessing it's Grizzly because Grizzly max at three sixty. No, three sixty, not three sixty nine. So that could be decent. <coughs> Speaking of grizzlies, I just put those meal bits in. That was a female grizzly, so nothing interesting. And we've got a new alcohol. Let's just mark that. 
access to the latest. I still see me out there. Unfortunately. Because they are diaries, after all. Uh, what weapon do I need? Okay, you shot it there. Let's take the 2.3 out, and it's actually good that I came into my inventory because I now see that I don't have any arrows in my snake bites. Why does it sound like getting too close for comfort? Are you sure this will poof? I don't want this meal to mess up this elk. Punch goes. Just want to make sure that you're. <laughs> because <laughs> you never know what this elk could be. There she is. She looks like she's on her own. Good to close, okay. Yeah, I just want to see if I can find this rocky and then I'll close it on. That is a very heavy mule deer though. If only we were in Big Mama, we'd have most likely had first of that. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Why are these elk taking so long? Surely, I should have been able to see them by now at least. Unless they've been chased by wolves, that would make sense as to why they're taking so long to come in. That could be a thing. No, that's most likely what's happened here. Because this cow's almost all the way in and she was like the same distance almost. So we'll go see what these <coughs> elk are doing quickly. <coughs> and that's just one of those does again. I believe this should be one of those. Oh, yes. It must be. All new tracks there. Interesting. deal with you too. At least he's out just blatantly ignored my call. Also here. Interesting. I'm trying to get away from that cow but she's not wanting to let me get away. <laughs> Where are these elk? That's my question there. They don't call from two, oh, they call from one of my red dots, so. In theory, they should be right here. Yeah. But, could have been chased by wolves, so. That is most likely what has happened. 
thing is not good because I am getting really tired now. Ah, see tracks. That's probably that one right. Yes, that's her. At least we got away from her. It's going up that way. Huh. I wonder what is out there now. That's the rule. That's what I'm going to do. We'll follow that. See what we can find. Probably going to be fleeing tracks somewhere close by. At least they just walk this way. No one recalls, as I said. Those are the only two explanations I have. Is that they ignored my calls and they could have been chased by wolves. It's probably that same car. Yeah, it is. I forgot that it's 20 past 9. At Rocky Mountain, I'll bed at 9. <laughs> Keep that in mind when hunting rookies. Didn't even check the time. So where did he go then? He just go over this hill and ignore the calls in because he was sleeping. I see wolf tracks. That's not what I want to see. That's then my theory is correct then. Tracks looks like it. More rocky tracks that I'm seeing. Ah, there he is. Oh, it's his next track. He's not here. Yet. Roaming. Interesting. Thought it would say chasing. It just gets weirder and weirder. So just roaming. I could just be going on a wild goose chase yeah, but you never know. Well. <sighs> he shouldn't be too far, at least we should be able to get him, that sound like him. Just stop following me at this point. She's going to keep on stealing the calls. Should be actually shot her. That is right up there. I'm kind of tempted to stand up and walk, but then again, I know as soon as I do that, the the bull will be coming in and I'm going to spook him, so I'd rather not take the risk. I'd rather play it safe. Then again, I'm not getting any closer, which is the problem. Does 
or being elf tracks. That should be from the wolves then. This guy is an extractor, so I'm assuming he has some food from these wolves. Right. It's getting older, so I'm going to walk. Hopefully, not spook him. That would be the ideal scenario. Just walk to get a bit closer without spooking. I don't know why they're moving so quickly though. the wolf, I don't know. I hear footsteps. Ah, uh, wrong footsteps there. Looks like a female, which we might as well just spot it to see. That looks like a female model. model. That's a female model. We discovered, so that's probably nothing interesting. Come on, man. There's this. Boom. Still roaming, interesting. Still getting older. Hm. This whole track job has been interesting so far. don't believe anything I see on the tracks because they're just getting older even though I'm walking now so they should be getting fresher this game is weird maybe it's a giant or a pyro and that's why it's doing this but I guess we'll never know I guess you know it's still a Sounds a bit odd there. Doesn't sound like a bear. There we go, 
13 to 20 minutes, that's good. Aha! Gotcha. Yeah, that sounded like something that's not a bear. It sounded more like a rocket. Hopefully the bull's here with her. Probably stuck. Most likely. <coughs> Sounds like more than one. Oh, I see it now. It's on its own though. We'll just leave her to do her own thing. I would shoot her, but I know I'd leave her there, so I'm not going to do that. That'd just be cool. Oh, come on, buzzer. Now this track will have this got a bit older because I spent a bit of time on that cow. Just should have done. But you never know. The bull could have been with her. Just as expected, because I did a print stop there. Actually, I haven't hunted this area much. So it's nice to be up here. These wolves are probably chasing the trotting, actually. Chasing, there we go. Makes sense. Stupid wolves. That's what I said. Which is good and which is bad about hunting rocky. Rockies with a good um, wolf spawn. Well, good because could be could be getting a rare wolf, um, but bad because they're going to be chasing the elk around 24/7. Seems to be the case here. So yeah. Hopefully, we can get a view on him down there. Or oh, hopefully he's down at the lake, and I can get a view on him. Maybe, hopefully. I don't want to be tracking him too long and then he turns out to be small. Common. Ah, I just need to track somehow by mistake. She's still stuck there, so shame for her. At least she didn't get shot, so it was good for her that she was stuck. And you worked in her favor. <sighs> I just hope I don't have to spend two hours tracking this guy and he turns out small. Which is very likely. Tiny bit. I don't know which track to follow, but I'll follow this one. Just in case. You never know. This could be the fresh one, even though it's old. Which has been the train. 
take this elk. Yeah. Looks like it. Uh, wait, that's not a stretch. Maybe that's a stretch. Yeah, this is a stretch. Hopefully I can spot him down at the dam. Nope. I don't have a view of the dam. That's not good. Um, don't see his tracks either. Though. That's not his tracks. Hmm. How much longer do I have to track this thing for? At least it seems the wolves have stopped bothering him. Hmm. Not that big could be. Come on, elk. Don't disappoint me like this. Tracking this guy for a solid 15 minutes already. I should have just never fast traveled because then this would never have happened. And this is probably going to be a tiny bit of <coughs> elk. But I'm going to waste a whole half an hour tracking. Because that is my luck. Probably went too late. Cold was okay. You know what? Let's elk, take a hike. Where's this next track? But ah, there we go. Okay, that one's still the one that's behind us. So. him at the tree stand. Don't know. We shall see. We shall indeed see. Where's his next track there? Not see anything like that, yeah. That's near the attract section. <sighs> Problem is I don't want to give up on this guy just in case he is a rare or something like that. You never know with these guys or you know with classic. That's the nice thing and bad uh, thing about classic. It's not like Call of Wild where you can just reset the time or something and get him in his zones. Which classic animals obviously don't have, they don't have zones. A year base, so I did get something. There she is. I'll just get out of her way. Right. 
to defend myself somehow. Can't see where these out tracks go. They just disappeared to the One minute. Just turn into mule deer tracks. All the rocky tracks are gone. Interesting. Interesting. So his track is there. It's like the Samoa track track of previous hunt. Probably gone anyways now again. Okay. Now let's test this. <laughs> that wolf was coming in way well, he's coming in way quicker than I expected. No, that's the bad part of having wolf, a good wolf spawn. Just a small female. Somehow managed to elude us. Uh, that's what I need to do. Yeah, that rocky eluded us. I believe I missed that shot. Okay. No, I missed that <laughs> wolf. Good job. Thank you for all of you guys watching the stream. 
and it was nice having you all here again. So yeah, hope to chat to you guys soon again.